Resident 815 here. I've got my handle for my Rifleman's Hawk. It's doing wonderful. It's a wonderful hawk. really enjoy it. But uh, I tried a little throwing left-handed. And some of the high school long-distance team has stopped by a couple times in my backyard to uh, throw the hawk. And from a couple misses, striking hard on the handle against the target. And other uh, mishaps of throwing. There has begun a small little crack right up here by the head, where the head would be, right around here. I'll zoom in and show you that a little bit better in a moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make another handle. Instead of buying a $16 to $18 one, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can make one myself uh, using hickory. And I found actually maybe the cheapest way to do that is to buy from Menards for 6 bucks this hickory handle for an axe. It is, in fact, it says 36 inches, but I'm going to measure that because I don't know if it's 36 inches from end to where the head would be or to the very tip. But I'm going to get a measurement of that. And what I'm hoping to do, and I'm thinking 36 might be to the very end, is although I could make one at the same height, uh, this is a little long. I'm going to shorten it a number of inches to maybe where it's about four inches shorter than what it currently is. And then I should be able to get two handles out of this one six dollar handle, which would mean each handle would be three dollars a piece. And uh, I am going to do some work on it because obviously uh, this handle is much thicker and wider front to back. So I'm going to need to shorten its width and height um, as well as adjust the length. The length on this is a little long, so shortening won't be a big deal here. But uh, let's get going on it. Here we go. And a close-up look at the handle here see some of the black paint on the inside is worn off and the ridge line here but uh, the problem is right there and again the head would go from right about here to here uh, maybe right here and uh, this crack is developed right along the top here not a big deal uh, once it gets a little bit bigger I'm planning on putting some Gorilla Glue in there kind of wedging it in with a toothpick and then taping it tightly so it seals in there. Um, that's my initial thought of what to do with this so it doesn't get worse. Um, but I'm going to use uh, the big one I got to see if I can make another handle. Alright. I'm going to tape. First I'm just going to cut off this part where the head would attach if it was an axe. Cut that off. Always wear eye protection. Keep yourself safe. Nice cut there. We we'll measure this length now. Thirty-two inches and a quarter. So about sixteen will be half. There we go. Exacting measurements here, people. Exacting measurements. Two nice solid cuts there. And I'm leaving this little staple in the end for now. That'll probably come out. All right. There we go. Time to head back inside. And I'll keep these parts for maybe another axe when the head comes off. But that I'll put in my filing bin. So you might be wondering how much media from my new half an axe handle am I going to have to take off to get to the tomahawk with. Well, let me just show you initially the visual difference. Here they are side by side. Why am I in the light? Here we are. Side by side. See there's a good bit to take off there. And then front to back. Oops, if I get them lined up again. Not nearly as much to take off there. but quite a bit there. So, yeah, let's uh, look at it this way. Let's look at the heads. Heads are pretty close, so at the very top I won't have to turn hardly anything off. Especially since I'm going to use uh, this side first. The Where the axe head would be if this was an axe handle gets a little bit wider, it tapers out. So I'm going to use that extra width because um, otherwise I'd have to just take it off for the head to slide through the handle. So. 
it'll be a little extra wide on top. So my tomahawk head will probably end right about here as opposed to up here. And that's that's fine with me. It doesn't bother me um, for now. But if I need to, I can always just take a little bit more of that off later. But uh, for hawk size, um, maybe that's a little bit better throwing length anyway. This gets a little bit uh, long, has a slower rotation there. But we'll see.